Good day, all my fellow brain injury warriors. I want to talk to you all about what happened with Tuo Tungo Bailoa, what this means for society, brain health, and my perspectives as somebody who helps people with concussions and brain injuries, as well as me being a brain surgery and brain injury survivor. So let's just start out. What happened with Tua is he had his third major concussion. And what happened is he exhibited the fencing response, which is a classical thing that happens during brain injuries. Essentially, inhibition in the prefrontal cortex and outer cortex stops and there's activation of the brain stem. And he exhibited this response where his arm flexed inward as well as an extension of the other arm. And it's so scary when you think about what's going on with people because people are more conscious about brain health than ever before. And this was a primitive response and clearly something is, is off. And I wanna tell you that my opinion is the NFL is the modern day gladiators. So people still watch this and they enjoy other people getting hurt. Maybe this is psychological in nature, in human psychology, but the fact is, is that when you don't have your brain health, you have nothing. And he's, even though he's making millions and millions of dollars, he's putting his future at risk because when you don't have health, you have nothing. And when he's uh, putting himself in further harm, which I hope that he doesn't, but I'm assuming he's going to, uh, you know, you're really sacrificing everything that you have to make money. I'm sure he already has a lot of money and that he can go and live a normal life. But if he continues on that pathway, look at what happened with certain people like Muhammad Ali, who developed Parkinson's disease from boxing. Look at what happened with Aaron Hernandez, who turned homicidal. And he may have had those uh, psychotic uh, thoughts. He may have been a psycho before that, but of course the brain injury exacerbated this. So I want you uh, to understand how important what we have between our skulls is for our mental health, our emotional health, and that sacrificing it is not worth it for any reason. The, no amount of money can bring our brain health back. No amount of uh, accolades or any of that can bring our brain health back. That's exactly why I'm uh, creating a new book that I'm gonna give you all the access to on the pre-release to sign up for and give you access to the first couple chapters called Brain Rescue. And this is gonna be a compilation of everything that I learned in my PhD studies about the, how the brain works, but also more importantly, my personal experiences in brain health recovery. This is gonna cover the main topics, like what actually happens to the brain during a concussion, what you can do about it, and how to fix things like memory, how to improve mood swings, how to improve uh, headaches or dizziness or any of those other symptoms that you may be experiencing. And I can tell you it really is possible if you follow a certain blueprint and you apply the psychology and the understanding of neuroplasticity, which is the ability of our brain to rewire, change, and adapt itself in response to our actions, our thoughts, our emotions, um, everything that we do really, really matters. And it's also really important about what we don't do. What we don't do is just as important. Just like Tua, he needs to understand that he needs to stop playing football and even uh, stop it with the NFL. And it's the same thing for you. You need to stop your bad habits and stop putting yourself at risk and, and stop eating the bad crappy foods um, in order to see a full recovery, you need to stop doing a certain amount of activities and you also need to start because it's neurons that fire together, wire together, but also neurons that no longer fire together, no longer wire together. So I'm looking forward to sharing this book uh, preview with you all and the book is going to be absolutely amazing and talk about how I overcame the struggles of my brain injury when I got assaulted by a bouncer and how you can do the same exact thing. So it's gonna be an absolute no brainer that you're gonna to wanna to purchase this book. Uh, and just to recap, 
Tua really uh, needs to get this under control. If I were him, I would completely retire. I understand the temptation uh, of the fortune, the fame, uh, wanting to drag him into that. But ultimately, when you, have, when you don't have this, you have nothing. Uh, and I want you all to understand that. Have a great uh, rest of your day, and we'll talk soon.